<laughs> if you're a knife, this video is gonna be painful. Joe X, master destroyer of knives, has been blown away by the toughness of a specific brand. Work tough. And that's no small feat, as you can see. But let's cool down the pace. Maybe some of you think knife use is all about destruction, and maybe we've been indebted to that. Nevertheless, that's a big lie. Is this knife also good as a knife for knife use tasks? Or can a smaller knife actually do everything this big knife can? I think my trusty Falcon even F1 in COS2 can. Controversial, controversial, DBK, yeah. I'm da -da 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 -da. This video is sponsored by... Choose for chance! What a gentleman. 173. Not bad for a knife this big, Mickey. Not only did this knife come really sharp for a knife this big, the less grams it takes to cut a wire, the better. It even came with a mirror edge. And when we gave it a quick strop on the DBK compound, it was even a little sharper. 156. It is very neat for a knife this big. Definitely. I mean, it is sharper than probably 90% of all knives this big. Yeah. Now first we start baton. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. But today we're going to show you that it's not all about surviving destruction. It's not what makes a good knife. Does it is it Miggy? No, I'm getting tired of people not well actually we're the biggest debit of that. <laughs> people thinking a knife should, you know, survive a destruction test to be a good knife. And I think there's a lot to say for that. Wait, focus. Eventually we're here to prove what we think makes a knife good, Martin. Exactly. Although this knife looks pretty beasty. So yeah. <laughs> I don't think this is the perfect video to actually prove this. No matter. Let's continue. <laughs> pretty impressive, I gotta say. But pretty impressive yeah, or really impressive? Pretty impressive because this, this part even has a knot and it like blew, like it just exploded. And now the F1. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not joking. Okay. Yeah, the F1. <laughs> okay. Actually, in hindsight, this was more of a chopping test. Here's the caveat. And that is not an egg laid by a fish. Of course, the Falcon Even F1 in COS cannot chop as well as the works of. But here's the. Empty Lion is its name, the Empty Lion. Oh, Empty Lion, oh, of course. But for instance, if I take a big piece, um, this very, very, very big piece, which is almost bigger than the Falcon, whole Falcon even life itself, I can split this piece of wood. Even though it has a giant knot in it, <laughs> I can split it. And I will show you that. Of course, the empty lion could do this way easier, probably. But let's see. But I already baton this. Yeah, but I I will baton a new piece. I haven't baton yet. The fact that a knife this small, probably less than half the weight, is able to do this. It's impressive. It is pres impressive. So if you it have is. to. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. So what's your point? Huh? Quicker, less calories, burned, yeah, what's up? Well, maybe you could burn a little more calories. Maybe I should give you my little knife. Ah. On the other hand, I'm carrying this much more heavy. Yeah, that is true. No, so I'm hardly saying that my knife cannot, is not able to baton that. Well, I do not agree. Let me show you how it's done. Yeah, then. <laughs> okay. And that's what we call a knot. Okay, Mickey found an impossible piece. Yeah, well, you know, actually this whole video is falling apart already because I really want to believe that my knife can do this, but we couldn't find the same kind of piece that Martin baton. <laughs> and now I have to baton this bad boy, Look which at this. is longer than my knife. It's longer, but then it also has this. This is like one of the hardest pieces that we've ever done then. Cut resistant gloves. Now, I have to say, with only batoning, this is completely impossible. Though, believe me, I have tried. 
But I have a little peanut brain which is about the size of my little penis and I decided to put it to use. I decided to make a wedge. The wedge has been born. People, I can honestly say that this was stupidly hard work. Not ever would you be in a situation where someone would do this. Nevertheless, after about literally 30 minutes, it did happen. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? It did it! It was the human mind that cracked open this wood. Martin! <laughs> I didn't even feel the wood crack, it was just, it blew out in a, a, one, a, a one swing. Teamwork makes what the hell? work. Okay, now I'm really curious if I can baton split this with the mountain lion. With a little less effort, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Ricky, this... This says nothing, Martin. <laughs> this is a really, really beastly knife. I mean, seeing the F1 and seeing the wedge struggle that hard, I didn't think this would be possible. So, what did they say about the right two for the right job or something? Yeah. One, I'm liking the handle. Two, it makes pretty good feathers. Three is the negative. It's a pretty steep angle. And it like, looks like it's pretty hard to control. So these are 10 feathers. Fine feathers. This wood, this wood light easy. Okay. Okay. These are more compact. I gotta say that. But this is a wand. Beastie feather sticker. Yeah. Beastie. But on the camera, I gotta say, the mountain lion feathers look look better. Yeah, but let me just get on with it a little more. Yeah, look. Yeah, look. Now the now the real curl setting. Yeah, it's it's easier for sure. I mean, look at that. Look at that. And they are finer. They. Okay. The Again, both will get the job yeah. I am just bluntly gonna say that this might be one of the best batoners we've ever had. Yeah, but it could be better if, if it this was, was convex. convex. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Challenge time, yeah? Inspired by a challenge we saw for a certain army in the world somewhere. I don't know which one it was, but I saw it in the Ray Mears program and they had to make a fire in like one or two minutes. It was all pre-prepared and all that stuff. But anyway, we have to do the same kind of challenge but with this. It's the only thing we have. We have to make a fire with, with this. This is Martin's pile, which I'm not gonna lay on the ground because it's wet. And this is Mickey's pile, which I'm not gonna lay on the ground because it's wet. The person who makes the fire the quickest wins. You gotta make it under two minutes. That's like kind of the... Yep. Your goal. Mickey, they say great power comes with great responsibility. This is a knife of great power. So let's see where responsibilities lie. I think everybody has unsubscribed at this point. Why? Let's go, dude. Okay, okay. Now you're gonna imitate me, Mickey. But we do have to take into consideration that, oh my God, that tricep again. We do have to take into consideration that you are the fire master at this point on this channel. Somehow, I don't know why. One minute and five seconds. Okay, that should be it, Mickey. So you say stop when yeah. everyone. Stop. One minute 37. So you made the two minute mark. Yeah, but is it gonna catch? Is it gonna catch? That's the big question. I think, I do actually think it's gonna catch. It's still on down Hello? there. You know what, I'm just gonna yeah, let- Yeah, it's catching. Yeah, I'm gonna make, let this one count, even go, if it goes out. Which I doubt. Yeah, but you have wind on your side. That's God. Mickey, can I say that was actually done a few seconds before 
before you press the thing, yeah, yeah, you, you say, that's it, but say that's not stop. That's you not say stop. stop. No, no, but it, saying, I was it. in fact done before it. Go. Oh no! Yeah, but I have to keep on going. Yeah. Oh, f oh, see, this is the structure I was talking about that Bart is always so good at. Stop! <laughs> okay. You made it in one minute. I made it in one minute 32. That's not That's not good at all. That's what I was at uh, one minute 37? Yeah. This whole tripod is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I could make a picture of how, okay. how Bart it looked like right now. Oh, we're back in action. But I think, to be honest, this one is able to do it. Within one minute. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Okay, go. Oh. That's uh, two seconds extra for you because I didn't touch the button. 30 seconds. 40 seconds. Stop! Okay, if I add the two seconds, you are at exactly one minute. Okay, exactly I one minute. I really hope it's gonna catch. I really hope it's gonna catch. It's still going. It's still going. It is still going. It is still going. Oh yeah, it's catching. Oh! It's catching. It is catching. So it's exactly spot on one minute. Nice. It's 50, 50. It is fifty percent faster than. <laughs> the fuck. So let's be clear. This knife is then fifty percent faster. <laughs> Little. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we basically do the same, but then chopping a log. Okay, three, two, one, go! Ollie. One minute. One minute and 39 seconds, Martin. I have the feeling that I will not beat that <laughs> with my F1. But... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this knife is meant a little bit as like a mid-sized knife because yeah it's big, it's good for batani, yet it does have a smaller knife handle which doesn't make it a bad chopper but it also doesn't make it the best chopper. Everybody knows your knife is going to win this but I'm going to try to win. Sounds good. With every means necessary. Okay Mickey are you ready? I'm ready dude. All right. Let's go. Oh wait. Oh, that was it already. Yeah. Oh my god. No, this is gonna be a disaster. Martin, what's the time? One minute. One minute? One minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> Come on! Okay, well, let me just go on. I hit it against another tree. Stop the time! Stop the time! Oh my god! Uh, One, <laughs> two! Three minutes and 15 seconds, Miggy. I'd call that a loss. It's a pretty big loss, actually, but again. Could do it. But actually, this one filled harder at this test as your knife did with the fire making. Yeah, test. yeah, yeah. So. I would say that's a pretty big loss for the small knife. Jeez. Okay, Mickey, this no. Was Martin, this was actually more tiring. I actually thought that I would be able to do it under two minutes. Not within one and a half minutes, under two minutes. But I'm feeling blisters coming up. Yeah. It's like definitely I would not want to do this with more pieces. With, But with your knife, you could actually cut up that whole log. Be pretty tired, nice and warm, but <laughs> you could do it. And you yeah. would have your firewood that way. Yeah. But if I wouldn't want, if I would want to saw one of these pieces with me, it would cost me almost no energy, and a silky saw would be. Marta, are you timing? Start. Okay. Without any breaking. Twenty-eight oh, seconds. Twenty-eight seconds. So yeah. I would then rather bring a small knife with a saw than a big knife without one. Yeah. A big knife with a saw is more weight. More weight. Back pain. Back pain. Death. Bob Mickey. 
It's not always... <laughs> Sometimes it's also about fun, being cool, having a tough life with you and feeling tough. Yeah, and I'm going to show you what stuff all about. Something that you don't even dare to do with your little uh, phone, even F1. Let's see how sharp it is after all it did. There are some small reflections. Very that nice. Is very nice. Very nice. That is very nice. There's nothing wrong with that tip, nothing. I don't see much, I'm gonna cut some paper. So I'm very glad to see that this knife comes from Earth and not from some other planet. Yeah, Okay. but it's still Still not like completely dull. Now, the true edge killer, bone. So I really gave it an, a next level edge test with the bone because normally we do like one chop. Wow, I am really impressed now, Mickey. Now there's only one test left to do. But, no, oh. but I'm not, I'm not done. Because it absolutely doesn't got anything from the bone. It doesn't get it doesn't have any chips from the bone. Check the edge. Well, this is it. It's a hefty blade, so don't That's like the damage it got. Well, hit it again then. Ready? It's like it it's like what we normally get on bricks. Like these tiny microchips that you see here. I mean, we've seen worse from bricks. Ha! What a knife, but also what a great new giveaway, Mickey. Oh, a giveaway, and for the people who don't know, there are two winners, and there's a Sunray here. We are giving away a Falcon even modern Bowie, thanks to DBK. Well, that's very big. A DBK Bushcrafter knife, also thanks to DBK. An Extrema Ratio Sethlands, thanks to Tools for Gents. The Rocca Corpus Centurion N690, thanks to Lamnia. And the BPS HK1 and HK4, thanks to BPS. That, that is a that is pretty crazy knife. The Work Tough Mountain Lion, which was an incredibly tough knife. Yeah, first of all. Yeah, yeah. I like the handle. It's a good, it's just a good big knife with a very good steel. And I like the fact that they made it a big, tough knife. It is also very capable of doing the smaller tasks. I would say, yeah, a small knife can do a lot of things that the big knife can, and it yeah. can do it a lot better. And for the stuff that I like to do, a and for the stuff that I like to do, a small knife performs way yeah. better. You know, it's thick, it batons like a king, it chops well, it does the smaller tasks. I was very skeptical at the beginning of yeah. this video, and I it, really wanted to shoot it. And the only reason we are not shooting this knife is because it performed so well, and we would look stupid if after all these yeah. tests we would break it. So then, all of a sudden, it doesn't really add something to the video. One downside, for the viewers who like to know more about the sheets, I wore the sheet the whole episode. It has these nice clips, which do make noise if you walk, but that makes it good for, you know, attaching it to the leg. Yeah. But it doesn't allow for low carry. It only allows for high carry with the sheet, so you cannot strap it to your back. So, I don't know what these are for. So it all comes back to the video that Joe X made. Yeah. He was absolutely blown away by the toughness. And I think we should all watch out, and we also debit to this, that if a knife performs well in a destruction test, that doesn't necessarily mean that the knife is good. No. Nope. A knife has to be good at knife tasks, and it is very nice that it's tough, and that's why yeah. I like the F1, but man oh man, did this knife blow me away. Yeah, because it, I it just was skeptical. good. It, it was just good, that's it. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you liked this video. Leave a comment, we read them all, and we try to respond as uh, many to many yeah. as... Uh, I cannot speak anymore. Bye. I like you. I like you all. You are like my girlfriends, but like very many.
Yeah, maybe a little bit more attractive or not. Let's go, let's go. 